50 state, states that Amari Hardwick uh, from Power is yeah. overvaluing himself. Um, <laughs> is this is this something that is true? Um, as you know, Amari Hardwick is an actor uh, from the 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 show uh, Power. He he his role was Ghost, and um, phenomenal, phenomenal. That's what he, we know him most for at this moment. Um, but I just wanted to know you guys' viewpoint on uh, 50 Cent's statement of him being overvalued. I didn't. Um, OK, so we all know 50 is hilarious, right? He likes to take situations and kind of take a, a, uh, yeah, a comedic approach, but at the same time speak his truth. So uh, when he said it, I said respectfully, he's correct. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you did your thing on this show, but what else? Like, you know what I mean? I do see Omar as being very talented. Um, I don't know why. It, like, he does such a great job on Power. I don't know why it's not, like, transitioning over into other projects. Like, I see him in little short roles, and he's completely opposite of the, the characters that he played that we compared to what we know him as, which is Ghost, which I understand you want to kind of separate yourself and, sh and show your range. But is it has he done anything as big as playing Ghost? No. So when 50 said that, I said, oh, like, <laughs> I was like, way to go for the juggler there, sir. Like, I, I just felt like he made his point and still remained in his character of being funny while Omari kind of, uh, in my um Mr. Hardwick, sorry, kind of shot himself in the foot by like even coming at it because I think a lot, a lot of people think 50 won't say something, but I'm like, every time he does. So why do y'all do this? Yeah, like, it, it, it's, like he likes he it. Loves, so it's just like, it's me. very loves weird. Me. And then when you hear his <clears throat> side, it's like I said, it's very comedic. And then he's like stating his facts, like what, it, like he's telling you like his version while everybody else is more so like in a, in a space of complaining about what they didn't get and things of that nature. So, and 90% of the time I'll be siding with 50 cause I'll be like, well, when you put it like that, like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, Respectful. I don't think um, the comment, like, but I understand what he was doing there, but the comment of saying like, he's overvaluing stuff. First of all, you're always gonna put yourself at the top when, when, when you're asked about yourself, right? Cause if you're not, like who else is going to believe it but at the same time i do see the point of what he was saying in the sense that like we haven't seen him do something as big as the character that he played which is ghost so um he kind of like made a valid point there in my opinion okay rob you have any anything on that um i think i understood it when he said it right um mm -hmm. power the power um franchise has continued to be successful and in some ways has become more successful since his departure mm -hmm. and so yeah you can be credited with being the front man and starting something but but you are you went on this small little tour and you continue to go on the tour whenever you're interviewed about about whatever you know what i mean and that's what comes up right but you start talking about it as if as if you were the reason for its success and that you should have been paid all of this and all of that and um it's like what 50 was saying he said he talks about it as if he had the conversation with me mm. and he didn't he didn't talk. And I was like, he does say that he does. And like, and I listen for that every time he talks about it. I'm like, he's talking about it. Like he says it as if he's, as if he had this conversation with 50 and knowing 50 for probably, yeah, for over 21 years now, <laughs> 50, we've known 50 for at least 21 years. And you know what I mean? That's, and that's not even including if you lived in a tri-state area, but like knowing him, his personality, as a man and as a businessman, he tries to always make sure that the money is right. You know what I mean? Right. So it seemed very uncharacteristic to say, oh, I make 150, uh, I make 150 K an episode and I feel like I should be making more. You're talking about the man who loaned you money when you needed money, you know, while the show was in motion. 
you know what I mean? Like prior to like you getting your first check and all, all of that type of stuff. He didn't even bring up the fact that he got you on your feet and that he, you know what I mean? That he gave you a loan in order to keep the ball rolling in your respect. I mean, so, um, so yeah, I think he does overvalue himself at this point, you know, and, and here we go. I let it rock. I, this is the third. Well, here we go. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my thoughts on it. He talks about it like he talks about it as if he had a conversation man to man, and that I can't respect. I agree. You do I, lose points yeah. when you don't talk to the person directly, but you want all yeah. those interviews right. like going in. Like that's right. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. You look crazy. Mm-hmm. He's stuck in the You don't have that energy when you needed the money. You ain't had energy. And you, you don't bring that up. And you don't you bring don't that bring up. Him. Like I but had 50 your back. even said, 50 even said, like when you he you you insinuated that I was talking about you when I mentioned people owe me money. He was like, no, nah, I was talking about somebody completely different. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just mm. like that's very like tunnel vision minded. Like it's a it's a certain arrogance to you to think like, oh, he only loaned money to you. Like, you know what I mean? I would never like take it personally. I'm just like, I would just ask if I, if it felt like, if, if I felt like you were coming at me, like, that's just like me borrowing money from Omari. And yeah. I overhear that Omari's talking about, oh, mad people owe me money and stuff like that. And he bragging and boasting. And I go mm-hmm. to him and I'm like, Omari, like, you got a problem right. with me borrowing money? And he like, right. oh, no, I was talking about somebody else. Right. Oh, no, I'm good, up. man. I'm over I was it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, talking like that just two minutes ago. I can you do the interview? Can you come in like you normally sound? Because he's playing the playback. It's fire. <laughs> it's right on time. <laughs> it's right on time. <laughs> so, yeah, like, um, I think uh, he definitely played himself a little bit, um, Omar. Uh, is that his name? His name is not your name, Omari, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so yeah, it sounds crazy saying it, and I'm not Smoking talking about you. So yeah, it's crazy that uh, that's the energy he's coming with. But you know, is you know, what I mean, people are. But you know. and that's the and that's an issue because that's the only thing he can talk about. You feel mm-hmm. me? <laughs> and that that's that's the hardship that I see is that yes. that's what you bring up. If I'm in an interview, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I did that, man. It was it was a wonderful time, and here's what I'm working on now. Here's yeah, how I'm building myself up now. Yeah. This is what you need to look out for now. Because you looking back over there to try to get a, another money grab for why don't you let me back in power? You did that. You should have exceeded that and pushed on to another level. You go to mm. higher and higher heights. Utilize the catalyst that uh, that 50 Cent pro- provided for you, that platform that you could have just catapulted from and get better roles. You don't want get, it. Get oh, newer oh. projects. And start start marketing yourself in a way that you can make more money and be more profitable because of your iconic role of that. Not so much being stuck on being that person. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? Right. How do right. you grow? Exactly. No, dude. Right. You don't want you know I mean? to get out of here. <clears throat> and that's that's my that's my take on that. Yeah, definitely uh, let your actions lead. You know what I mean? Don't do all that talking because when you do all that talking, it's like you get in the way. From like what can like your your possibilities, you know what I mean? I was never really a talker, but absolutely, I agree. Yeah, yeah, and you're not ghost. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be not clear your real concise. name, man. It's over. Yes, so being you is not. It's over. Yeah. No. And matter of fact, over. speaking of, no, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless y'all come, they come out with a movie, you know, they come out with a yeah, movie. Yeah, but he did. Like that. that man dead. <laughs> hey, they go. It was, trying, it was trying to find ways to bring him back to life, though, like because we never really saw him die. You know what I mean? So you know, they was, put him in a coma. Was, That's what most people do. Man, they they saying Mary J. Blige is is was born in the eighties. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> they doing whatever they want to do on this. Yeah. On this show. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Yeah, Mary J. Blige born in 1982. I was like, stop playing with me. <laughs> stop playing. Like, don't crack, with me. man. 